Hello friends, welcome to Learners Planet. This is Alka Maheshwari. Uh, in our previous sessions, we have learned to add and subtract the integers. Now in this session, we are going to take the addition and subtraction that is the horizontal addition and subtraction of decimals. It is also quite simple as uh, in the case of integers. Now let's begin with the uh, session. I hope you must be having a paper and pen with you. So let's begin. Now in the first problem, just observe the problem carefully. Here we are uh, having the combination of uh, decimals and integers. Okay friends, so let's make the numbers even. So here I am having one number after decimal, even here I am having one number after decimals. So let me put here a zero after decimal. Okay, now let's begin to calculate from the decimal sides. So it's 3 plus 5, 8 you should cut the numbers to avoid the visual confusion okay friends so 3 plus 5 8 and 0 it will be 8 i put a decimal over here then 2 plus 4 6 plus 2 8 then it is 6 so the answer is 68.8 so let's do this problem now here we are having two, two digits after decimal, so I put a 0 over here and a 0 over here. Now let's begin. It's 1, then 2 plus 8, 10 and 1, 11. I write 1 over here, then 1 will be carried. I put a decimal. I have 1 with me. That 1 plus this 4, 5, plus 7, 12, plus 3, 15. I write 5 over here and 1 will be carried. 3 plus 1, 4 plus 6, 10. So what I am having as answer is 105.11. Now let's take the next problem. It's 12.34, 234.0. Point. Let me write a 0 over here to make the numbers even, to make the digits even. Now let's begin. It's 4 plus 0, 4 plus 6, 10. I write a 0 over here and 1 will be carried. 1 plus 3, 4 plus 5, 9 plus 5, 14 I write 4 1 will be carried I put a decimal then 1 plus 2 3 plus 4 7 plus 4 11 I write 1 over here and 1 will be carried 1 plus 1 2 plus 3 5 plus 3 8 now I'm left with 2 only so the final answer is 281.40 now the next problem I put a 0 over here and I put a 0 over here. After uh, practice, you need not put these zeros over here. Okay, friends. So, it's uh, let's begin. 0 plus 3, 3 plus 0, 3 plus 3, 6. Then, 7 plus 2, 9 plus 2, 11 plus 2, 13. I write 3 over here and 1 will be carried. I put a decimal. That 1 plus 6, 7 and 1, 8, and 1, 9. Then 5 plus 8, 13. So the final answer to this calculation is 139.36. Now the next problem. It's, I put a 0 over here. I put two zeros over here. Then I put 1, 0 over here. Let's begin the calculation. It's 0, 0, 0 and I got 1 at the unit's place. Then it's 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 2, 4. Now 4 plus 3, 7 plus 4, 11 plus 7. 18. I write 8 and 1 will be carried. I put a decimal. 1 plus 3, 4 plus 2, 6 plus 3, 9 plus 8, 17. I write 7 over here and 1 will be carried. 1 plus 5, 6 plus 6, 12 and 2, 14. I write 4 over here and 1 will be carried. 1 plus 7, 8. So the final answer is 847.841 okay friends it's actually easy you just have to practice now you can uh, pause the session and uh, 
start doing the next problem then match the answer with mine now let's see this okay i put a zero over here let's begin 3 plus 4 7 and 2 9 i write a 9 over here next 2 plus 3 5 plus 5 10 and 4 4 14 i write 4 over here and 1 will be carried i put the decimal 1 plus 3 4 plus 4 8 and 2 10 i write 0 over here and 1 will be carried 1 plus 3 4 and then 1 so the final answer is 140.49 it's very simple friends now let's begin with the subtraction it's as simple as addition it's 2 minus 1 1 i put a decimal 4 minus 2 i write 2 and then 5 minus 1 4 so the answer is 42.1 Now let's take this problem. It's 7 minus 4, 3, 6 minus 3, 3, I put a decimal, then 5 minus 2, 3, then 4 minus 1, 3. Isn't it so simple friends? Now let's do this problem. I put a 0 over here. Now 0 minus 3. So I cannot write minus 3 as such. So what I would do is I'll borrow 1 from the next calculation so i would just write 10 minus 3 7 now i have negative 1 with me which i will settle down over here 5 minus 1 4 4 minus 2 2 okay i put a decimal over here then 4 minus 1 3 then 23 as it is so the final answer to this problem is 233.27 Similarly, over here, I put a 0, 0 minus 7, that is minus 7. I cannot write minus 7. So, what I would do, I would borrow 1 from the next calculation. So, 10 minus 7, I will get 3. Now, I have negative 1 with me. Now, 4 minus 1, that negative 1. So, I get 3 and 3 minus 6, I will get negative 3. So, further, I cannot write minus 3. So, what I would do is, I would write 10 minus 3 that is 7 now i have negative 1 with me i put a decimal over here that negative 1 is uh, 5 minus 1 4 4 minus 8 i am getting minus 4 so further i cannot write minus 4 so what i would do i would borrow 1 so 10 minus 4 i'll be getting 6 now i have negative 1 with me now that negative 1 from 7 is 6 minus 5 1 and 6 as it is so the final answer to this problem is 616.73 now in this problem it is obvious that the answer will be negative so what i would do is i just put a minus over here and plus over here and final in final answer i'll put a negative sign to uh, make the problem correct now let's begin i put a zero over here it's minus 4 plus 0 that is 10 minus 4 so i cannot write minus 4 so what i would do is i'll put 10 minus 4 that is 6 okay now i have negative 1 with me that negative 1 plus this 9 that is uh, 8 minus 3 5 okay then it's 7 minus 8 that is minus 1 i cannot write minus 1 so what i would do is 10 minus 1 that is 9 i have negative 1 with me so it's 6 minus 1 5 5 minus 9 minus 4 i cannot write minus 4 so i'll borrow 1 i'll write 6 that is 10 minus 4 i have negative 1 with me so it's 5 minus 1 4 so I'm getting 469.56 but since I have uh, put a negative sign over here and a positive sign over here which was actually the opposite calculation so I put a negative as a whole over here. So my final answer will be minus 469.56. Okay friends let's do this next, next problem. 
Now in this problem, we are having addition as well as subtraction. Let's begin. It's 5 plus 3, 8 minus 1, 7 plus 2, 9 minus 6, 3. 4 plus 2, 6 minus 2, 4 plus 1, 5 minus 5, 0. I put a decimal. Then 3 plus 8, 11 minus 4, 7 plus 2, 9 minus 4, 5. Now 2 plus 7, 9 minus 6, 3 plus 1, 4 minus 1, 3. So what I am getting as answer is 35.03. It's very simple friends. So we are adding and subtracting simultan simultaneously. Uh, okay friends, let's take the another problem. Now let's take this problem. I put a 0 over here, over here and over here. Now let's begin. It's 0 minus 0, 0, 2 minus 3, minus 1. Finally, I'm getting minus 1, but I cannot write minus 1. So I'll borrow 1. So 10 minus 1, I'll be getting 9. And I'm having a negative 1 with me. Now that negative 1 and this one will produce a 0. It's minus 6, minus 6 plus 3. I'll be getting minus 3 minus 3 and minus 6 I'll be getting minus 9 minus 9 plus 8 I'll be getting minus 1 further I cannot write minus 1 so I'll borrow 1 so 10 minus 1 I'll be getting 9 now put a decimal over here and I'm having a negative 1 with me so 2 minus 1 1 minus 4 minus 3 minus 3 plus 4 is uh, 1 1 minus 5 minus 4 minus 4 plus 7 will be 3. Similarly, 4 minus 1, 3, plus 5, 8, minus 4, 4, plus 2, 6. Now, 3 minus 2, 1, and plus 1, 2. So, what is the final answer is? 263.99. Now in this problem, I put a 0 over here, a 0 over here and a 0 over here. Now let's begin. 0, 0, it's minus 3, minus 3 plus 4 is uh, 1 and 0, it I'll be getting 1. Next is 3 plus 7, 10 minus 5, 5 plus 6, 11, 11 minus 1 is 10. I put a 0 over here and a 1 will be carried. I put a decimal. Now 4 plus 1, 5 plus 6, 11. 11 minus 7, 4 plus 5, 9 minus 4, 5. Now 3 plus 5, 8 minus 6, 2 minus 3 minus 1. But I cannot write minus 1. So I will borrow 1. So 10 minus 1 I will write. 9. Now I have negative 1 with me. That negative 1 plus 4 is 3 and 3 minus 2, 1. So what my final answer is? 195.01. Now in this problem, I put a 0 over here. I put a 0 over here. Now 0, 0. I am having 8 minus 7. 1 okay then 3 minus 1 2 plus 1 3 minus 5 minus 2 but I cannot write minus 2 so what I would do is I would borrow 1 so 10 minus 2 it will be 8 now I am having negative 1 with me I put a decimal over here 4 minus 1 3 3 minus 2, 1, plus 3, 4, minus 3, 1. Okay, friends. Now it is 6 minus 8, minus 2, minus 2, plus 2 is 0, and then minus 4. So further, I cannot write minus 4 as it is. So what I would do is, I'll borrow 1. So 10 minus 4, it is 6, and I'm ha having negative 1 with me. Okay, friends. 
Now negative 1 plus this 5, I will be getting 4. 4 minus 7, I will be getting minus 3. So friends, final answer of this problem will be negative. I am getting negative 3 over here and this calculation 61.81 is actually positive. So, but, but this 3 is actually at the uh, thousands place. So, I will be putting 2, 0 over here. Now, the final calculation of this will be 2, 3, 8.19. And obviously, there will be a negative sign over here. Okay, friends. I hope you might have enjoyed the session and you have learned uh, lots about uh, addition and subtraction of uh, integers as well as decimals. I am uh, sure that you will definitely bring the methods uh, uh, in your day-to-day -day life, in your day-to-day -day mathematics. All the best and let's meet in the next session once again.